and then for more, let's cross to our correspondent, Sarah Morris, who joins us from Malaga. So Sarah, how significant is this vote today? Well, this was a vote essentially for the Speaker of the Parliament uh, in Spain and for the committee that organises the parliamentary business. Uh, but it is seen as absolutely key and indicated that Pedro Sanchez, the current acting Prime Minister, uh, could be able to form a government, even though uh, he didn't gain the most seats in that July election. And he has a very tight uh, uh, balancing act. 171 uh, members of Parliament uh, believe to back him uh, compared to 171 that would back uh, the Conservative uh, leader Alberto Núñez Feijó. Uh, this vote uh, may mean that he can get uh, that hardline separatist party, Junts, uh, to support him to become and to stay uh, the Prime Minister for another four years. Essentially, this uh, deal uh, said uh, that uh, there would be uh, the co-official languages, that is Catalan, Basque and Galician, as well as Spanish, uh, that they could be used in the national parliament and also in the European parliament. And uh, the other part of the deal is that there would be uh, parliamentary commissions to investigate uh, the 2017 terrorist attacks in Catalonia and uh, an investigation into the use of Pegasus uh, software to spy on the uh, leader of one of the Catalan nationalist parties, Per Aragonés, and that there would also be, and, and I quote, uh, the taking of the political conflict between Spain and Catalonia out of the courts. Now, uh, most analysts think that that could mean uh, that the socialists would not stand in the way of a law granting amnesty uh, for Carlos Puigdemont, the former Catalan president uh, that pushed for that independence referendum and the unilateral uh, declaration of uh, Catalonia in 2017. He is, of course, still a wanted man living in Belgium and has been instrumental in this deal for the socialists uh, to run the uh, parliamentary commission and to take the speaker role. Well, Sarah, I know that this vote happened not too long ago, but what kind of reaction has there been so far? Well, many of the uh, socialist supporting uh, papers and commentators and voters, uh, they are delighted. They think that this could mean uh, that Pedro Sanchez uh, can uh, continue as prime minister in Spain. They think that he has successfully uh, convinced his supporters to turn out to vote against uh, the Conservatives and against the far-right party uh, Vox, and that they can build uh, what has been dubbed in Spain a Frankenstein coalition uh, because he will need all of those regional and nationalist parties uh, to back him on many laws. But the Conservatives and, and even many uh, former socialist voters are already anxious that they feel the future of their country is now in the hands of a man who in 2017 uh, wanted to break away from uh, the rest of the country and who still says uh, that this deal to back the socialist uh, speaker, uh, Armin Gol, uh, that it does not include a deal yet to back Pedro Sanchez for prime minister. There will be an investiture vote and the Conservatives at the moment still saying that they think that the king uh, should turn first to the Conservative leader, uh, Mr Feijó, and uh, there would be a vote which we would expect him to lose. Uh, but at the moment it's still not 100 percent clear uh, that Pedro Sanchez would win a second vote. Okay, we'll have to see what happens. Our correspondent Sarah Morris reporting for us in Malaga. Sarah, thanks so much.